I welcome everyone to the APS discussions. We're having interesting topic for you. As you know, we have many different APS solutions. Question is how to choose the right one. Our experts, Nuri and Ferran, will discuss this topic today. Hello, everyone. So as you mentioned, there are a couple of versions of APS, so it's a bit hard to choose between them. So you have to check for the correct features to differentiate between them and to find the best ones which fits you. So one of the main features of the APS system is that they need to have a simulation. So the scheduling can give you different results based on this simulation where you can adjust the parameters. There are simulations where you can only see the results, but in our case, it is important that you can also save the results. So once you save the results, you can get different comparisons and different KPIs based on your scheduling results. You can compare whether your tools are, uh, how they are optimized and how your setups are optimized and how is your allocation percentage of the utilization of the workstations. You can also even compare the number of employees that are assigned. You can compare also the costs for your uh, plan. So based on different scenarios, you can make different comparisons and then make a decision which one will suit you better. So you will be able to change your calendars, your workstations, capacities, your shifts. And based on this, uh, you will be able to compare different results. Another important feature of the API systems is the integration. So you have to have correct data and consistent data so that you can make the right scheduling. So that's why uh, integrating to the mass systems is very important where you can get the right information from the shop floor. So this means that if there is some breakdown or if some of the parts are not finished at the right time, or if you don't have the materials for the processes, then the system needs to reschedule. And to reschedule, you have to provide this information from the shop floor or from the ERP data. So that's why integration is also one important feature when you will try to choose the correct APS. We can continue with the next part. So the next one, uh, when you have an APS, first of all, it should be very easy to use. So in the end, it should be maximum one or two click because this investment should bring a lot of, uh, op decrease a lot of operational cost because planning is very complex and also scheduling also very complex. So you have APS, advanced planning and scheduling. So just one click should tell you all the results. It should bring all these recommendations and your page should be very understandable. And the, all the departments should understand correctly. And if you want to change any constraint or if you want to increase, uh, if you want to change the result based on different objectives, you should reach configuration very easy, very fast, and then you should change it. So the another one, you should have some new ability to manage your company remotely because based on the current situation in the world, especially after the corona, we all understand we need this kind of remote system. We can work on it and we can manage remotely. So you can use APS with your mobile phone or any desktop or iPad. So the other one is very important. When you have report based on your results, this report report should show correct parameters to understand everything is going well or not. And you should have comparison for each workstation. And you should have also comparison based on your reality and based on between your simulation, you change some settings or you configure differently. So in the end, you should understand all the parameters very well and then the visualization must be very understandable and then this gantt diagram should be very flexible you when you use it it should make everything is faster for you so aps investment should decrease your operational costs not increase complexity in your factory so thank you so much so thank you guys the video series are available on our YouTube channel. If you want to have more information on this content, follow us on YouTube.